Hi guys, this is Matt the Cat again with some tips on uh, anything about truck driving. As you can see, I'm a truck driver. I'm waiting to be loaded. The biggest question everybody knows is how much money can I make as an owner operator at a lease purchase? I'll talk about lease purchase. I've been driving since 2014. It's now 2022. Well, about to be. I started off like everybody else not knowing, YouTubing it. It all comes down to work. Work your ass off, you'll make a bunch of money. I'm not going to sit there and show you settlements. They go up and down. Um, when I started, the average rate was about $1.60 a mile. I still made money. Made about $2,000 a week when I worked. Um, you know, it, it's it's like anything else. There's, there's little tips and tricks. I usually start out at 5 in the morning. That way you beat rush hour in the morning, and when you shut down, eight, nine hours later, ten hours of driving, you're usually shutting down before rush hour in any major city. So try to drive from 6 a.m. till 5 p.m. That'll make your life easy. Always take um, loads when you can that are first come, first serve. You do appointments, you get there at 2 o'clock, they never load you on time. They never unload you on time. So don't worry about the appointments. Try to not take appointment runs. Don't let people or dispatchers tell you, oh, you have to take appointments. You don't. Remember, when you're an owner-operator, lease purchase, you're paying them. You're hiring them. They're taking some of your money. They work for you. If they don't work for you, find another one. They're a dime a dozen. As far as money goes, and you can't look at it as Monday through Friday. You just can't in trucking. You have to be out here at minimum seven days of driving. You can run on recaps. If you put in 10 hours a day, you get those back. You can run on recaps pretty much every day, inevitably, indefinitely. So you never have to worry about hours as long as you're putting in 10-hour days. There's days where I'm not even doing anything. I'll leave myself on duty so I can at least get those hours back the next week. Anyways, back to the main question, how much money can you make? In seven days, in a seven-day period, seven to eight days, if I start on a Monday and I finish in, on a Monday, that's what you have to look at in trucking because you're driving seven days. If you're only driving five days, it means you're lazy. In a seven-day period, you should be grossing. Now, right now, 2021, about to be 2022, you should be grossing, and this is November, right before Thanksgiving, you should be grossing eight to $10,000 a week. That's running seven days, work, you know, driving 10-hour days. Sometimes you drive eight, anywhere between eight and 11. You should be grossing eight to 10. Depending on fuel, where you're at, always try to fill up with, with cheaper fuel, stuff like that. But you should be grossing eight to 10,000. Out of that eight to 1,000, you'll come home with thirty-five dollars to $4,500 a week. You don't wanna work for it, you wanna come home all the time, you wanna stop, you'll, you'll make $1,500 a week. You'll gross five, six grand a week. And after fuel and your truck payment and lease and whatever, it doesn't matter. Lease purchase is the same if you go buy another truck. I lease from Ryder. I'm signed out with the company. I'm paying them fifteen percent to work for me and book me loads. I can book my own freight. I book my own freight for four years straight. I don't take. I don't play games. The more you know, you let people walk all over you, the more the rates are going to go down. The more they're going to treat you like shit. You drive seven days a week. After that, seven days a week, you'll have a check for three grand to four thousand dollars consistently. The only time I don't make money is when I say I want to go home or I want to take a weekend off. Stay out there two weeks at a time. Stay out there anywhere from, let's say, 12 days, 13 days to 18 days, something like that. You, you know, you've gone a couple weeks, you know, two, two and a half weeks, and you'll make seven grand, eight grand, and then take four or five days off. If you have a truck payment and you're a lease purchase, Always take a day off. Well, get into town on a Monday. It doesn't have to be on a weekend. You deliver your load on a Monday. Take Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday off, and then get back on the road Friday. Because when you got back in on Monday, that load you dropped will pay for your truck payment the whole week. And then you take that week off. Well, not the whole week, but you take that Monday off, Monday afternoon. You have Tuesday off, Wednesday off, Thursday off, and then hop back in the truck. Do it again for another couple weeks. You'll be making money in no time. 